Hey burners, welcome back to Clayber and welcome back to my channel. I'm very, very blessed to have you here with me today. So this is um, kind of cold um, and I'm feeling kind of wimpy today, so I'm dressed for the occasion. Um, but I still think like I could put something up here in the rainbow garden. And the reason why I say that is because it's like, it's a perennial garden and I don't really see us getting any more freezes before these seeds germinate. Um, so like I did last year, I put in my perennials and then they didn't do much. And then now this year, their second year, they're really thriving and coming up. So I thought we'd look at the rainbow garden and see what is uh, weeds, uh, ID our weeds and uh, check out the plants that we put in last year and probably plant something in, uh, in one of the rows. All right, so here's like the overall look of the rainbow garden. Um, it's quite big and it's getting bigger. We've added a third bed this year. So I thought we'd just take a look at some stuff. So normally this is where I put lemongrass on the edges. And I'm not going to put in lemongrass this year. However, if lemongrass comes into my life somehow in an easy way, um, I'm not gonna say no to it. So there's that. And then in the far corners, this corner and the one behind me, I did put in um, these beautiful dahlia roots. They are just gorgeous. I can't wait to see those. I don't know what they're going to do their first year, but um, I'm excited to see them. Now, bear in mind, this is the rainbow garden. So I like lots and lots of brilliant, bright colors up here, right? Okay, so we have the Summer of Love butterfly shrub right here. She's always a late start. And then looks like we have a lot of weeds in here. Looks like we have um, bittercress. Yeah, just bittercress. Uh, we have some chickweed. My chickens love that stuff. A shervil. Uh, what else? Like a baby elm. All right, then we have our bergamot. I believe that this is called Canadian goldenrod. This is a giant goldenrod. Um, I'm gonna let this stay. They're really beautiful uh, late in the year. And then there's just more bergamot, more goldenrod, more bergamot. Okay, everything else we want. I see a lot of mugwort, which I don't want, so I'm gonna pull that out. This is where the other um, dahlia is. There's nothing behind the dahlia because I feel like it's gonna get quite large, so I'm not gonna put anything there. And then this is the flax, and why the flax seed skips right there, I don't know. But anyway, you can see how tall flax is getting this year. It's so cool. I love it. I can't wait to see this. So this is what they make um, linen out of, I guess. I don't know. I don't plan on weaving it. I just plan on hopefully selling it. Okay, so we've got a blank spot right there. So I'll probably fill that in with something. And then behind that, in our next row of the rainbow, there is echinacea. Okay, it's not, there's not a lot of echinacea here. There's one, bergamot, bergamot, echinacea, bergamot, echinacea, echinacea. All right, well, we'll just let the bergamot, which is also wild bee balm, we'll just let those mix. We'll pull out all of the mugworts that, I don't know what that is, some kind of dandelion thing. And then the echinacea comes in really, really good around that bend. Okay, and then I thought in the third bow of the rainbow, since there's nothing back there, um, I found my lupine. I was talking to my friend uh, at Spring Meadow Gardens about lupine, and I think that's going to be beautiful back here. So I brought some up, and it's in my pocket, my magic pouch. So I thought, well, why not just go ahead and put the lupine in? I've got two and a half weeks before my last frost date. Um, so they won't even get germinated good before the frost date. So they're gonna take 365 days to bloom anyway. So these are just gonna stay little babies this year. They get 36 inches tall, which I checked this time and that's 91 centimeters, ha <laughs> ha. Um, you only can, you plant them a, a foot apart. Oh my goodness. All right, well, we'll put them in as seeds and then I'll thin them out. Okay, so we're gonna put lupine in our back row. So we'll have lupine, echinacea, bergamot, and flax, and then our dahlias and our um, my shrub. Ooh, that wind is something. 
And then we had some flax that came up over here. And then we have another butterfly shrub here, which is a beautiful dark purple. Hold on, let's, let's let this wind pass. A little less windy today. So the lupine seeds went down a quarter of an inch in depth and I planted them every six inches, which put 25 of the little buggers in this row. And then I have all of this blank space right here next to this butterfly bush. So then I'm gonna fill in with lupine there. I have that blank space that can hold at least two. And then there's this blank space. So we're gonna fill all those in with lupine. Turned out that the reason why I skipped that space was because it was that massive stone. And I guess I just got tired. When did I put this garden in, last year? Yeah, this is the second year of this garden. Okay, so we extended the lupine. I pulled it down this way so we can extend that rainbow, the bow of the rainbow. We filled in the gap and pulled it down this way. And then, oh, I just put some, yeah, I put it there, there, and there to extend it down. Okay, oh, I'm in the shadow. Okay, so the only other part of the rainbow garden that I need to work on is, um, it's rainbow, so obviously that means like really brilliant colors. So up in here is lots and lots of comfrey and lots of strawberries. My mail person, my letter carrier. So, let me get on this side so I can show the tag. Okay, so last year, um, my salvia has decided to come back right here, and it's comfrey, comfrey, and then the red salvia did not come back for whatever reason. So the tag is here. I don't know, it's part of my purple, but it didn't come back. So, okay, so I put the little chrysanthemum in there. So I think I'm going to replace the red salvias this year with brilliant orange cannas. So the cannas I chose were this brilliant orange. It's called Pretoria. They need full sun. They get 48 to 72 inches tall. I can, with regular feeding, enjoy them all summer, it says. And then this fall, I need to dig them up and store them. But in the meantime, I wanted to show you how happy the mom is. Look, we just, we just transplanted him and he was so sad over there in the shade. And now look how happy he is in the sun. I'm gonna put these two cannas in the ground and then I think we're kind of done with the rainbow garden again. Lots of strawberries, lots of comfrey. I want to thank my friend at Spring Meadows Garden for the comfrey. Um, it's coming in beautifully. I can't wait. Um, and then I need, oh yeah, I need one more butterfly shrub uh, to give it three and even, it, you know, I don't like to see my plants like in even numbers, like I'd rather see them in odd numbers, so I need a third butterfly shrub. And then I think we're gonna call the butterfly or the um, the rainbow garden done for the year. And then we can move on to the annual cut flowers. All right, guys, I'm gonna get these in the ground. I'm wishing you a much love and light. Many, many blessings.